Okay, this might go kind of fast, so you might need to slow it down or pause it. So here we go. We started with an arch and a couple of ears. Now I'm going to be curving my lines out and then back in towards the center. So notice that I'm sketching and making really quick marks. That's what makes my zebra look very exciting. I've got my nose and now two diagonal-ish lines down are going to give me the neck and now I'm making the neck of my sweater. I'm doing two arches for my eyes to get them started. Now play around with these lines and see how you like to do it. Create your circles with the little shine line and then I like to fill in my eyelashes and some of my details right away. My eyes are very big, the nose is gonna be colored in, and now I'm making the markings for my zebra. You can feel free to go freehand with these and make all kinds of interesting zebra marks. Darkening them in is going to help you keep your place. Now that I have lots and lots of lines, I'm gonna add some character, like some eyebrows, I'm coloring my nose, and the wacky zebra hair. Now I'm gonna kind of keep really sketching this until I really, really like it. You can certainly do this in pencil first, but I like to just go for it with my marker. I'm adding a little bit of lines called crosshatch, which gives some detail and just kind of adding some more exciting sketch lines until I'm happy with the way that it looks. There is no right way to do this, but if you'd like to, like I said, you can stop the video and replay it or slow it down. Now, I wasn't quite happy with my hair, so I added some additional lines once I'm happy with the mane, I am all done. I hope you loved drawing a zebra with me.